In the previous video, we looked at how to create collections and add documents using the dollar sign upsert method. In this video, we're going to discuss what types of data we can add to our database. We've already introduced the concepts of what a schema and a collection are. You can think of them as essentially being equal, in so much as the schema forms a representation or a model in code of the data that gets stored into our collection. Let's now take a look at the different types of data that can get stored. There are six main data types, string, number, date, array, boolean, and object ID. This graph shows you what a typical key value assignment is when working with each type of data. And then below that, what a typical JSON response object would look like. So string, number, and date are pretty self-explanatory. When using an array, we can define it with the array reserved word or with brackets. Booleans can be set to either true or false. And object ID refers to another collection or schema. In a future example, I will show you how we can have a book schema that references an author schema using the type object ID. There's also two other data types that we won't be using in this course. They are buffer and mixed data. Buffer is used to store things like images, video, and audio. Mixed type allows you to store different types based on what you pass into it. So you might want to store in certain instances strings and in other instances arrays.